in the knot. <laughs> Okay, so that's disturbing news that I'm just finding out now that apparently there's a beat handshake that I'm not part no, of. It's how our long? Handshake. You have your own separate. So how did the handshake come about? Where did the handshake come from? It was his idea. I don't know. Oh, oh so okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would have included you in the handshake, you like Doug. In, like, what is the deal with the handshake? I just thought it would be cool to like, you know, get a little of this in there. You know, yeah, it's, you know, hold on, just show the handshake, and then out. Okay, I don't want to do a thing that's that anyway. <laughs> You're so cool, man. So no, I'm not. Maybe that's why I, you're not part of the handshake. I have a hand your attitude. Would be so I have handshakes with my daughters, actually. We have special handshakes. It's real touching. I'm a little bit mad I'm not in this one. Bill Landis, Doug Lamarie, sorry, Wasserman. Our picks for Ohio State, Minnesota, Saturday night. Bill Landis, what do you have? 38-13, Ohio State. Uh, I said in the outrageous predictions, Ohio State would have fewer than 400 yards total offense. I think Minnesota's defense is pretty good. Uh, maybe not the best Ohio State team, but still pretty good. And Minnesota's offense is really bad. Uh, I'm not buying the performance that they had against Michigan. Uh, Mitch Leidner had a really good game, probably their quarterback, probably his best game of the year. Emotion. Emotion. Yeah, emotion. I'll buy the emotion card, and that's about it. Uh, I just don't think they, they'll move the ball. I think Ohio State's defense will, will feel some sort of sense of urgency with the offense going through a change again get back to what we saw at the beginning of the year when the defense was really good. Uh, maybe a defensive score in there. In fact, I'll say there'll be a defensive score in there, 38-13 Ohio State. I totally buy all of that. Um, Minnesota scored 10 against Kent State. They got shut out by Northwestern. They scored 25 against Nebraska in a 48-25 loss to a Nebraska team that's fallen apart. You know, the, the, a weird thing has happened to them with the, with the coach change in the middle of the year. Um, I don't think they're any good. 35-10, I think they do basically nothing on offense the whole day and then break some weird 70-yard run that, that either is their only touchdown or sets up their only touchdown because Ohio State has given up those this year. Um, I don't think they're going to get anything consistently, and I think I think Cardale Jones is going to play pretty well. Um, not 50-point pretty well. Um, but I think consistent, good enough. You know, they'll have some three and outs in there where you miss a throw or two or the offensive line gives up pressure. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a convincing Ohio State win and a cover. I think Ohio State's going to win with their first 50-point game of the year. Can you believe that? Did you see my stat this week in the thing we did? Uh, maybe. I don't the, remember. They have not scored 50 points this year. Oh, yeah. In Urban Meyer's first three seasons, they scored 50 15 times yeah. in the first three seasons yeah. combined. They haven't gotten to 50 yet. Our over-under for the whole season on how many points they would average was 50. Yeah. We said, I think I went over. Over I I averaging yeah. 50, they haven't scored 50 once. They scored and 49 twice. I think it's about time they do. And I don't think Minnesota's good at all. But yeah. their defense. Defense is good, man. Yeah, they're good at gonna be. They're good at giving up 51 points this weekend. <laughs> they're 51 to three. I think it's gonna be a wow. thorough. Wow. And I just like take that committee. <laughs> not really. Yeah. <laughs> well, do what you want with it, committee. <laughs> um, but I, I just think that Ohio State, coming off a of bye week, things were gelling, and I think a big part of that was because JT was the quarterback. But I just think that. First of all, am I the only one that thinks Michigan is vastly overrated? Like, I think they're good. I think they're a lot better than what Michigan was, but I don't think that losing a close game to Michigan makes you good. We'll let that stand out there for for now. Okay. Uh, all right, 51-3. <laughs> let's just wrap it up here, okay? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, and... Uh, Got it. See ya. <laughs>